Fire the intro! Welcome to Blue Pop Stream. First things first. I'm not sponsored by Pepsi, but maybe if I murder enough Monokumas. Oh. Thank you, Lexi, for joining me once again. Hopefully, this will be the stream that we finish Ultra Despair Girls, and I can finally put this very upsetting game behind me forever. So, from what I'm hearing, I am right in front of what has been described as a three-hour cutscene. <laughs> Excellent. All right, let's not waste any time. Let's get right into it. As always, let me know if anything happens with the audio. Hopefully my internet doesn't crap itself again. All right, we've already bought our skills. Let's just go. Jeez. The atmosphere in here is practically screaming final boss fight. Yeah, very much so. Toko, we're gonna be all right, aren't we? We've come this far already. Don't go freaking out now. They should be scared of us. You're right. Yeah, I guess you're right. After all, we're a powerful team. Uh-huh. Wait, powerful team? Can't you think of a cooler name than that? Oh? Well, then you think of one. You're the ultimate writing prodigy, after all. That is a good point. Yeah, you're right. I'll think of something after the happy ending. Wait, is their team named the Ultra Despair Girls? <laughs> yeah, after the happy ending. Is that the name of the game? Oh, I did. Yeah, it's true. I didn't get all the captives, but I can just look them up later. Oh fuck! Hey, hey, hey. So you finally decide to show up, huh? Uh, I hate you. So slow. This isn't a manga. It shouldn't take a whole year for a day to pass. Was that a Dragon Ball joke? You son of a bitch. A black Monokuma? What is he? He looks vulgar. Hey, fuck off, four eyes. Whoa. I wouldn't expect some pasty four-eyed emo chick to understand my charm. I get no respect. You have no charm. Nobody likes you. Literally nobody. Yo, I'm so baller. If a professional musician ever came to my concert, they'd retire the next day. Wow. I'd make them choke on the haterade. And you're going to be choking too when I'm done with you. I would like to meet the one person in this entire fandom who, who likes Kurokuma. And just ask them why and who hurt them. What is this thing? Blabbering on with its nonsense. Could it? Does it have an AI like Shirokuma? Did you say Shirokuma? So you know him, huh? How's little bro doing? Oh, so they're quote unquote brothers. That seems obvious in hindsight, but also I don't care. Brothers? Well, he's like a brother. We bear folks stick together, you know? Uh-huh. But that ain't important. Don't you think it's strange, huh? Weird. I'm talking about why Monica ain't here. To tell you the truth, it's nap time for little Monica. Okay. Nap time? Well, yeah, she's still a kid after all. She wore herself out being all hyped up. What? Oh, that looks this like a multi-tiered boss fight. If you're brave enough chicks to disturb her nap, you can always try opening the door. Which door? Hell if I know. Monica made this little trap to keep out big mouths like me, see? If you open the wrong door, blammo! Instant death! Oh. Hello, nasty. To get the bad endings, just go from bottom to top. Okay, excellent. But if you leave her be, she'll sleep for like three years. Now what you what you gonna do? Hurry, choose! Damn it, you're making me impatient! See, I was gonna guess the green door because Monica is green, Come but on. I guess that's too easy. That Monica kid before, right? So, what do you think? Any idea which door she would choose? 
Hmm. Rather than choose, it's more like which would she even be able to access? Oh, so they're baiting me to pick one of the bottom two doors because she's in a fucking wheelchair. But let's also remember that we reached Monica's bedroom by climbing up a ladder. So, are, so I guess Monica really can walk? Or maybe has some other means to get up ladders? But it can't be that simple. Or her fucking wheelchair transforms? It can't be easy. Yeah, you're right. Are you sure? If you solve this quiz, you won't get to hear all the bitchin' lines I worked on. Oh God, just die! Damn it, I can't shoot him! Can I go back and save before I actually pick? Her chair turns into a transformer named Despair. That's awesome. Can't go back. What if I go over here? No? All right. All right, bad endings. Let's go. Are they actually bad endings or just game overs? The generation hasn't been taken yet, so I think I'll take it. Thank you. I fucking hate you. Holy shit! And that's the end of the third arc. Holy shit! <laughs> Holy shit! We got exploded and then crushed! If one of these doors is correct, we have a one in three chance of getting it right. There is a bad ending? Excellent. Don't rely on probability! Think about it! Just smack your head and remember! Hitting my head might make me forget. So they want us to remember that we climbed that ladder into Monica's bedroom. Yeah, I see. Right. That might be a clue. All right. I'm going to go see the green one anyway, just to see if it's any different. Damn it. I can't get these copyrighted songs out of my head. I'm bugging out. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Victory. And that's the end of the third arc. <laughs> oh, we didn't even get to see it either. Run! <laughs> it's fucking nuts. If one of these doors is correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, now the actual door. Come on, stop taking this so seriously and help me come up with ways we can combine together. <laughs> Literally every line makes me hate him more. <laughs> Holy shit. Well, all right, there's the answer. She can walk. Oh God. All right. <laughs> oh man. She stood up. Monica is standing. Huh. I thought that's Haiji's line. I knew it. You can stand. Your legs aren't paralyzed. The fucking skeleton on her shirt. On the dress. And it's only on the back too, so we never saw it till just now. You look at that! You're totally right. And you were like that from the beginning, right? You just pretended to be disabled. That's fucked up. Uh, don't tell me. You saw my secret room, didn't you? So that was your room. I saw the photo of you and Junko, so I figured that was your room. But something didn't add up. To even get to that room, you have to climb up a ladder. There's no way you would make a place like that your room if your legs were disabled. I see. So that's how you figured it out. <laughs> you might have a stupid looking face, <laughs> but you sure are pretty smart. All right. Why pretend that you're disabled? For pity! 
Because pitiful children are the most powerful, don't you think? Which means she was doing that even when she was regularly attending school! Huh? Monica's home life was terrible. She didn't feel like she belonged there. And she's speaking in third person again. But Monica was more brilliant than her brother or her father. And they hated her for it. Oh boy. But then, I thought of a way I could counter their neglect and cruelty. With murder! All I had to do was become a pitiful Or that. Then, I would have the whole world sympathy. And somehow I acquired a wheelchair. The wheelchair was inconvenient, of course. But thanks to the act, I acquired much. I even acquired the Warriors of Hope. Mm-hmm. And Papa and Big Brother were a little nicer to me, too. So they didn't know that she was faking it? How'd you get the wheelchair then? They thought they were the reason I ended up in a wheelchair, so they really pitied me. You tricked everyone all this time. You... You're the worst. <laughs> you're more awful than all the other kids. Maybe. But to survive in that horrible world, I had to be. When Monica talks, everyone freezes. When Monica smiles, everyone stops smiling. For Monica, the outsider, the eyesore, to survive in that house, she did what she had to do. I want to ask you, the papa and yep. the brother you mentioned, are they from the Toa family? Oh, so you know that much too. See, Toko? It wasn't a hallucination. The ghost was real. <laughs> and Monica's just like, what the fuck are you talking about? It's a coincidence. Delusion and fantasy with a little coincidence mixed in. It's true. Fantasy and reality overlap sometimes. I'm so desperate to make my fantasies real. Oh god, the music! That's why whenever I think about the girl I like, I strip her naked in my mind and pose her. Stop talking! Now's not the time for that talk. Silent mode. Thank you. Nice. So you're the one who made Kamaru come here by using that skinny white-haired boy. <laughs> Nagito, the skinny white-haired boy. Why would you do something that could compromise your own plan? I like how not one person in this entire game ever asked his name. Just like how Kamaru never asked the name of Chihiro's dad. Man, people just don't give a fuck in this game. My plan? Oh! You mean the children's paradise. <laughs> that shit. Well, personally, I don't really care about that. Monica has a much more important job to do. Does it have something to do with the successor? The successor to the professor? That's right. The successor is the most important thing to Monica. And for that plan, I wanted you to come this far, Big Sis. So wait, did she want to turn Kamaro into the new Junko? After all... You are essential for the successor. Or is she just like an ingredient in her weird alchemical computation? Huh? Just what I'd expect from the little sister of the ultimate hope. You're so impressive, Meow. Oh, she knows about Makoto. Completely different than when I first met you. Now, you have the face of a savior. Savior? Kamaro has the face of a high school girl you'd find anywhere. <laughs> But who cares about any of this? Hurry up and hand over the key to Master's room. Key? Monica doesn't have anything like that. So either she's lying or Kotoko's lying. Don't play dumb. Hand it over. Like I said, I don't have it. You want to strip search me to make sure? Monica doesn't mind. But weren't you guys in a hurry? Whoa. You want to break this controller, right? Oh. You want to stop Mr. Monokuma, right? Cool. It, is that... Monica Toa, Chief Executive of Toa Group Robotics Branch. Oh, boy. This is the magic that Monica invented. Yep. And as long as Monica has her magic, Monica can control the Monokumas and the Monokuma kits. That's a lot to do from just one fucking portable gaming console. You're the one brainwashing them, too? Huh? You 
you didn't know that? Hm. This idiot brat slipped up. In that case, I'll make you hand over the controller by force. And after that, I'm going to make you hand over the key to Master's room with even more force. Hmm. No, I don't think that's possible. After all, I have a trump card. A trump card? A super big, awesome battle robot the Toa Group Robotics Branch created. Are we talking about Big Bang, the one that Haiji's been piloting, or do you have a separate one? That is Monica's masterpiece. It's so much better than the other Warriors of Hope robots. So, Mr. Kurokuma, I leave it to you. Is he the robot? Hell oh yeah! no! Or not? The throne is the robot? Oh. Uh-oh. Whoa. Oh, it's got all of them. It's got parts from all of them. Mage robot Black Suspirian? Oh, and Kurokuma's part of it. Or piloting it? What the fuck? Oh my god! And they're broadcasting it! Black bear? White bear? Hell nah! I'm my own bear! Uh, as expected of a final boss, this one's different than the other robots. Uh. Now let's do our best with the boom boom and beat this thing with a kablam! I'm gonna... Well, that's not how I would have said it, but nevertheless, I am feeling pretty fired. I... I don't know. The blinking part looks suspicious. Okay. Kamaru, let's end this. This is for the sake of... I forgot his name, um... That hero guy who got bullied by a doll! <laughs> Who's a bad boy? Who's a good boy? <laughs> Who's a... I'm no gonna die. Boy. I'm gonna die. The vulgar one came out! I gotta aim for him! You sure try hard. Do you really want to save the adults that badly? Do you really want the burden of hope on your shoulders? One day is 24 hours? Ah, too damn short. I need some insomnia, cause sleep is the cousin of death. Watch out! It might be- I missed the heart piece! Or was it nuclear? No! Damn it! Oh god. It's okay. Leave it to me. It's got fucking Valkyrie wings! This is for the sake of... Forget his name! The priest guy! The adults will hate it! <laughs> she forgot all their names! Get it? Cause he's drooling. This is for the sake of... I forgot his name, um, that hero guy who got bullied by a doll! Stay turned around for longer, you asshole! Yeah, you know the fucking drill. Ah! This is for the sake of... I forgot his name, um, that hero guy who got bullied by a doll! Nobel oh God! Monokumas, I got it in the bag. Watch out! What the fuck is that? Nuclear warhead, or was it nuclear? One day, Shit. 24 hours. Ah, too damn short. I need some insomnia, cause sleep is the cousin of death. Watch out! It might be a. I'm out of break. Warhead, 
Or was it nuclear? Shit! Yeah, you know the fucking drill. Woo! This is for the sake of... I forgot his name, um... That hero guy who got bullied by a dog! Yeah, you know the fucking drill. This is for the sake of... I forgot his name, um... That hero guy who got bullied by a dog! One day is 24 hours? Ah, too damn short! I need some insomnia, cause sleep is the cousin of death! Ah. This is for the sake of... Forget his name! The priest guy! The adults all hated! Heart! 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 Who's a bad boy? Who's a good boy? Who's a... normal boy? Come on! Land the fucking shot! Why can't I hit it? Who's a bad boy? Who's a good boy? Who's a normal boy? Why aren't I hitting it? Hey, don't you? I was just about to go donate to charity. Now this is straight up stimulating. What a shocking turn of events. Oh god, it's still not dead! This is for the sake of... I forgot his name, um... That hero guy who got bullied by a dog! Shit, 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 shit. Yeah, you know the fucking drill. Who's a bad boy? Who's a good boy? Who's a... normal boy? Fucking dialogue's getting annoying. This is for the sake of the sage guy, the one who got crushed by his heavy burdens. <laughs> got him. Yeah. Fucking got him. That was intense. Fuck yeah, I want to save. Oh my god. She's still happy! That's right, Kurokuma, die, you piece of shit! Time for long cutscenes? Excellent. Huh? You're kidding 
me. Monica, lost? Fuck yeah. That's right. Now, be a good little girl and just give up. No. No. Is Monica gonna be killed? I don't want to die. No, there's no way I'd kill you. Of course not. But if you don't hand over that controller, it will not be pleasant. <laughs> no, that's no good. If this controller is destroyed, Monica's plan will fail. That's the idea. And if that happens, Monica can no longer be the successor. That's enough. Just hurry up and hand it over, or I swear I will spank you good. While the whole city is watching. Oh. <laughs> Fine. If I break this, the Monaco must stop and the brainwashing helmets will deactivate, right? You could just turn it off. Breaking it might have a bad effect. And then this uprising will be over. But that was, well, it was kind of easy. <laughs> Is it really okay? That was like stupid easy. <laughs> Ramen broth and climaxes should always be light. Or would you prefer an ending that has us getting beaten up and thrown from one despair to another? Just like your older brother. I, I don't want that, but... Well, you're forgetting the real happy ending comes after we rescue Master. So let's hurry up and end this. Uh, um... It's really okay to break this, right? It's obviously okay. You can stop the Monokumas and the brainwash gets lifted. I'm getting the feeling that breaking it is the bad ending. Right. She's still smiling. Ah. All right, well, I want to see the bad ending first. So did I guess correctly? That's what I thought. <laughs> oh. What I saw after that was fireworks. Fireworks heralding me as a savior. Yeah. A savior. The savior of Toa City. As it's fucking exploding! It's all thanks to me. I became hope. The hope of the adults who were treated so cruelly. Fireworks. Blessing me. It's all thanks to me. Everything is all my fault. <laughs> Whoa. So it just nuked the fucking town? That was quick. Wow, all right. That was kind of unsatisfying. What, what are you doing? S sorry, something is concerning me. Concerning you? Concerning you? Concerning, concerning you? Or disconcerting? Could it be that maybe you want to be Monica's ally at the last minute? So you're hesitant. Hes no need to hesitate. That one. Break the controller. End this already. You're right. No, please wait. Oh, and in comes Kotoko. Y you? Why are you here? Don't, don't break the controller. Okay. Yay! Kotoko, you came to save me. Oh look, now you remember her name. Shut up! Who the hell would want to save you? Ooh. Huh? I didn't know breaking the controller would also end the brainwashing. That would be bad. What? If it's just the Monokumas, that's fine. But the kids, we lose all the friends we made. If that happens, I'm gonna be all alone. What friends? You brainwashed them. But even then, I don't want to be alone. Please, pretty, please don't take my friends. Kotoko's right. Don't break that controller. If you don't, I promise, I'll kill all of the adults and build paradise. What? <laughs> Sh shut your mouth, traitor! Kotoko, 
Why are you saying such mean things? We're friends. Hey, Raven's here. You're just in time to watch me finish the game. No, we're not. You're just a traitor who killed her own friends. Oh, please. Please forgive me. Let's just forgive and forget. Live in the now. Let's kill adults together again. Shut up. Be quiet. Die. Wow, harsh drop. What's going on? Just let those idiots fight. Hurry up and break the controller. N no, stop! Please, leave me just some hope. I'll even settle for just a little. W what hope? You really think there's hope for you guys? That's cool. Thanks for popping by. Miss Kumara Naeki, please listen to Monica's request too. Please. Make the right choice. Oh, God. If you don't choose right, you're going to replay this moment over and over. Haha, <laughs> it's funny because I'm doing that. So make the correct choice. Oh, and God. Properly. Correct choice. Oh. So there's another bad ending if I break it now as well. I'm guessing. It's all the same? Okay. Kamaru? What happened? Huh? You're not gonna break it? That's weird. Why not? Why can't we just shut it off? Didn't you want to stop those crazy kids? Didn't you want to be the heroine of this dirty lane penal colony? Didn't you want to be ah! hope? just like your brother? I... I... Are you sure? If you don't break the controller now, this will just repeat over and over. I see your legs shaking. Uh, hold on a second. This is backwards. Why do you suddenly want her to destroy the controller? Okay. A happy ending scene with all the Monokumas and Monokuma kids gone for good, right? <laughs> I ignore her. It's okay. You didn't make a mistake at all. Kotoko, give it up. Watch the controller get destroyed. Sh shut up! You be quiet! Toko, what should I do? I... We'll leave that decision to you. Of course you will. But, but, uh, however, because I'm leaving it to you, I will share the responsibility as well. So, just do what you think is best. What I think is best. Wow. <laughs> the game really wants me to do it. I don't think it's a good idea to break it. At least, not right now. Th that's right. Good. Thank you, Big Sis. Thank you so much for not breaking Monica's special controller. Jeez, which side are you on? It would be such a bummer if the end credits started rolling before all the cast was here. Oh? Oh yeah, we still haven't found out who that other intruder is. Cast? You'll be here soon. Probably running down the hallway right now. Is it Byakuya or is it the intruder? Hands on the door. Oh, it's Haiji. Found you, Monica. Oh, here we go. See? Just like Monica said. Bullseye! We do have a sibling connection after all. Y you Why are you here? Big Brother came to save Monica, right? Oh no, I don't like this. You're being so mean. Everybody's bullying Monica. Monica's getting picked on by the kids and the adults. Isn't that awful? Big Brother, save Monica. Uh... 
Don't tell me that's what you're actually here for. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh, I don't like the face. Oh, he's all despaired up now, isn't he? Oh. Don't There's... be an idiot. Who the hell's gonna save you? There's that song. Big brother. Stop calling me that. You're not my sister. You're just the old man's mistake. I didn't want you around. I never thought of you as family. Why am I not surprised? Why? Why are you being so mean? Monica's just a child. You're no child. You're a brat who never learned her place. And now it's biting you in the ass. It's over, Monica. I'm finishing this now. Please, stop it, brother. I'm scared. Uh, uh, Mr. Haichi... So that's the controller for the Monokumas. Huh? It's got L1, L2, and R1, R2. What are you doing? Hurry up and destroy it! End this nightmare already! I still think we can just, like, turn it off. We don't have to actually break it. Please stop! If you destroy the controller, all of Monica's hard work will be wasted! I won't be able to create the successor! I won't be able to inflict despair on the world! How crazy are you? Pretty. Now hurry! Hurry and destroy it! I, I, I know, but... Don't! You can't destroy it! This is some kind of trap! Destroy it! Destroy it, Kamaru! Oh. Come on, shoot it! Come on, do it! Another decision, wow. What is this? Why are you siding with those brats? I I'm not siding with them or anything. Did you forget what they did? If that's the case, then shut up and listen. Listen? Time the people outside were watching. They saw you defeat Monica's robot. What? You did this, didn't you? You're filming all of this! Huh? Monica has no idea. They're still watching. They're waiting for you to destroy that controller. Everyone expects it from you. They're waiting for you to wake them up from this nightmare. You showed us hope. You were able to finally stand up to those brats because of your speech. That's why I'm even here. That's why I'm not afraid of these kids anymore. It's all thanks to you. You are hope itself to us. Okay. But if you still can't make up your mind, I'll just have to help you choose. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Tell them what you've done. Everything. The whole truth. And there's no way they'd side with you. Uh, everything? The reason why you want a successor. Everything. Mm -hmm. Tell them the truth. Or I'll make sure you regret it. Fine. I'll talk. Ow! It all started when I was still attending the Hope's Peak Academy Elementary School. Monica did a little prank to convince the Warriors of Hope to commit suicide. Oh, is that all? Wait, what? That was a prank? <laughs> Get pranked. Oh, of course. Monica didn't intend to end her own life at all. But you all took it so seriously. So she was gonna sit there and watch while the rest of them fucking jumped. Oh, this bitch! 
And around them, Monica met Big Sis Junko with the most miraculous timing. The moment Monica saw her, Monica understood. Big Sis Junko is light itself that will shine down on Monica's boring little world. It's a miracle! Thank you, God! At least, at the time I thought it was a miracle. But later I learned it was inevitable. She came into my life just to take advantage of me. Oh, so she knows! Then what the fuck? Take advantage? By then, Monica was already a chief executive at Toa Group's robotics branch. So Junko targeted her for her connection to the Monokumas. Oh, big brother, I'm sorry about that. Wasn't it painful to watch your little sister surpass you? The real question is why they designed them to look like Monokuma. Did Junko get the idea for her Monokuma persona from that, or was it vice versa? And I'm also sorry to you, Kotoko. You didn't want to hear that little truth, did you? Big Sis Junko only cared about Monica. The other Warriors of Hope were just bonuses. <laughs> you are all living DLC! D don't make stuff up! Big Sis loved us all! Love? What are you talking about? There's no way someone would love you. Oh. Your own parents didn't even love you. Oh. Oh my god. Enough. Just keep talking. I I'm sorry, I got it. Stop, big brother. Oh, Nissan, dame. Uh, at first, Big Sis Junko was looking for a corporation that could mass produce machines. Mm hmm. So that she could use them for the tragedy. Oh. That's why, to meet her expectations, Monica started making all the Mr. Monokumas. Okay, so the idea for the Monokuma robots did come from Junko. That's why they look like Monokuma. Concentrating all of the resources of Toa Group's robotics branch. And just what was everyone else at Toa doing? Why did no one stop you? I lied. To Papa and Big Brother. I told him I was building robots that could be domestic helpers and emergency aid workers. And no one questioned the fact that they looked like teddy bears with fucking blood red eye on one side. And the adults actually bought that story? No, it's more like we turned a blind eye. She was the outsider in our family. But she's tenacious with a genius intellect. So we just let her do whatever the fuck she wanted. As long as she kept earning Toa Group money, we let her do whatever she wanted. <laughs> this brat took advantage of her position and started mass producing these monsters on her own. I didn't know what the machines were even for, so as usual, I let her be. But I did think they had a weird design. <laughs> you, you, you don't say. And thanks to that, Monica made Big Sis Junko so happy. She started using them for the incident. So the Monokuma robots made by Toa Corporation were involved in the biggest, most awful tragedy in human history. Interesting. That's what helped the incident get bigger and bigger. Interesting. That's when the old man finally realized what was up. And when he tried to stop you. It's a little too late to stop producing the Monokumas anyway, right? If we stopped, Big Sis Junko would reveal the whole thing. She would make it known that Toa Group built all those murder machines. And if she did that, Toa Group's finished. Monica, are you threatening me? Jeez, Papa, that's not it. It's more like a business opportunity. <laughs> this little bitch sold us the idea of making a weapon to fight the Monokumas. You made them? And then you sold the weapons to fight against them as well? The more out of hand the situation got, the more profitable Toa became. Hm. Just what a filthy demon would do. Can we drop the demon shit now? We didn't have a choice. We were in too deep. 
and we're trying to keep all the blood in my head instead of going under yeah arms dealers that's what arms dealers always do they create the problem and then sell the solution if we went against the despair group they'd reveal what monica did under toa's name then toa makes enemies with both forces we'd be shunned or extinct anyways toa group did the right thing and chose to coexist with the despair and to the public, they looked like heroes, fighting against the incident. But behind the scenes, they were working for both sides. Oh boy! The reason that air purifier they developed was so effective was because... They were part of the cause in the first place. That's why the incident didn't hit them as hard. Makes sense, I guess. Those idiot adults didn't know that. So they worship Toa Group like they were saviors. But you better not blame this all on me. By the end, even Papa was into it. He supported the incident for money and honor. He ended up being a patron of Big Sis Junko. Toa Group? Junko Enoshima's patron? Then subscribe to her Patreon. <laughs> So that's why you distanced yourself from Future Foundation. You didn't want to get found out. No matter how rotten it is, Toa Group is still my legacy. I want to protect it. But the good times had to end eventually. <laughs> Basically, everyone at Toa sucks. Just when things were going to get much, much more fun, Big Sis Junko died. That's the end of one. All thanks to your brother, Miss Komaru Naegi. Since then, Future Foundation gained power, and Big Sis's influence got weaker and weaker. Monica tried her best to rebuild it by any means necessary, but Papa just said it's over and gave up, like all the fickle, wishy washy adults do. And then we murdered him. Papa betrayed Big Sis. No matter what Monica said, Papa just wouldn't listen anymore. And you couldn't forgive him for that, could you? That's why you targeted this city. That's what you told us, right? All we gotta do is fulfill the hopeful dream Big Sis Junko gave us. We shouldn't give up. We can't abandon hope. We need to build a paradise and take revenge against the adults who betrayed us. Monica is so grateful to the warriors of hope. Adults are dirty demons who killed Big Sis. You guys killed them off so well for me. I was so happy. It was just as I thought. Kids are so simple-minded. The truth is, Monica didn't really care about things like revenge and paradise. Succeeding Big Sis's will was far more important. Monica doesn't want Junko and Oshima's legacy to end. So that's how you came to the brilliant conclusion that you should become the successor? And in order to become the successor, what exactly did you do? Big Sis used to say all the time that she wanted to paint the world with despair. If someone could do that, don't you think they would make the best successor ever? What do you mean? War! Oh? Huh? Causing war! If a war breaks out, the world topples back into despair, right? Mm-hmm. War? What are you talking about, brat? You're bluffing. You're trying to trick us again, aren't you? You've got some ulterior motive. If you think so, why don't you just break that controller Ms. Komaru has? Break the controller, then start a war. Oh? Why would a war break out if this controller is destroyed? I told you she's bluffing. She's just using reverse psychology. Oh, hey, don't call Monica a liar. You told me to talk. I told you to tell the truth, not spew more of your lies. Enough of this. No more talk. Destroy that controller right now. <laughs> hey, hey, what are you doing? Don't tell me you seriously trust what this kid said. And another one.
How many is there? Wow, we're at like five choices. W wait, no! I can't break it yet! So, you're taking this little brat's word over mine? It's not like that! But please, wait! I remember! Remember... what? A while ago, Monica and Kuro Kuma were having a secret talk. I was listening in. What are you talking about? Get to the point. At the time, I thought they were kidding. But maybe they weren't. If that's the case, this is very bad. What are you talking about? The Monokuma heads the kids are wearing. They're linked to the Monokuma's power source. So they explode. If that power source is cut off, yep. the helmets explode. Jesus, so all those kids' heads exploded. Explode? Oh no! Oh no! But all the Monokuma heads will blow up! And then, headless children everywhere! Oh, that's fucking awful! Oh, come on, an exploding helmet? You expect us to believe that made up bullshit? They have exploding bracelets, you stupid asshole! But I'm serious! She betrayed Shit. the Warriors of Hope. She could do it without even feeling guilty about it. So, so mean, Kotoko. Making me out to be the bad guy. Monica doesn't want the controller to be destroyed. Bitch. <laughs> Rift in the group now, huh? Well, if you're both lying, you need to get your story straight. No, I'm serious. I heard it. That's enough. Destroy that thing already. Really again? I think that was number six. Hey, what are you doing? Why aren't you destroying it? Because the children might die if I do. Why don't we just use the controller and turn it off? They're bluffing. I've been trying to tell you. But even if there's a small chance they're not, I can't do it. The kids wearing those helmets, they're just being brainwashed. None of this is their fault. Not everyone involved was doing this of their own will. Brainwashing? Are you serious? Who the hell cares about that? Huh? After all this, that excuse is not gonna fly. Even if they all died, they had it coming! Okay, hold on. Alright, I think we're good now. Let me know. You've seen what they did to us! They deserve it! You can't be serious. You're just blinded by revenge. Maybe I am, but how can I not be? <laughs> After what they did to us. Yeah, I am fucked up. What of it? Not even the harshest revenge is enough to make me forget what I've been through. I had to camp in a sewer for like a week. Listen, listen outside. The screams of the adults, the ones who lost everything. <laughs> Our loved ones were butchered by those little brats. They took everything from us. Wow, they actually had the audacity to play the exact same FMV a second time. You were the one who told us to stand and fight, right? It's because of your speech that we're even here right now. If you really are our ally, then finish this. <laughs> you are. You're our hope. Please. Don't betray us. Decision number seven. Controller. Please, please just end this for us. We just want it to be over. <laughs> just use it and disable everything. Hold on a minute. 
You can't fool me. Me? No, idiot. You. I'm talking to you. Hmm? Are you talking to Monica? I get it now. What you meant by war. You're trying to start a war between Toa City and Future Foundation. Oh? What? If the children are killed, what would Future Foundation do when they found out? They think the adults who survived were behind it. And then they find out Toa Group was involved with manufacturing the Monokumas. From that evidence, I'm guessing Future Foundation would think the adults were remnants of despair. They mentioned the remnants of despair! Dagger Rumpa 2 reference! And if that happens, Future Foundation would crush this town immediately. That's the idea, isn't it? Nope, that's not quite it. Because it won't just end with the war between Toa and Future Foundation. Huh? Future Foundation isn't the only one who'd see the adults as remnants of despair. The true remnants of despair that are spread all over the world. Mm -hmm. They'd learn about the war in Toa City and they'd come charging in. Toa City would <gasps> become the heart of a resurgence of the despair that Big Sis Junko left us. Worthy of the name of Junko Enoshima. Wouldn't you agree? Are you serious with this? She can't be. She's bluffing anyway. Even if it were true, all you'd have to do is explain the situation to Future Foundation, right? Because they'll totally listen to Toko. And you're with them, right, Toko? I mean, you could straighten this all out easily. Hmm, I don't know. Because the city shares a past with the incident, they won't take any chances. The moment they see the headless bodies of children in the streets, it's over. They wouldn't even care about their hostage or Miss Toko's testimony, don't you think? What? Child victims have quite an impact on people. Yeah. It's just like I said from the beginning. Pitiful children are the most powerful. So that was your plan. You need the adults to take revenge so they will cause more child victims. You chose adults with no children because you thought they'd kill the kids with no remorse. Yeah, that'll do it. I mean... Adults with no children wouldn't have a single bit of mercy, would they? Wait then. We were... We were sorted and kept alive. You used Kamaru to incite the adults to take revenge against the kids, didn't you? Huh? <laughs> oh, that's the Monokuma laugh. <laughs> may have helped things along, but Miss Kamara's transformation was her own doing. That delicate little girl maturing, growing to overcome the despair as hope itself. You even grew to care about this town, wanting to save it, becoming the hope for the adults. But even so, you know hope isn't always a good thing. At times, hope can be a terrible burden. It can be a drive to hurt others just like now That's... what did you think would happen if you gave people who watch their loved ones die hope did you think they'd all be positive working together nice and peacefully of course not oh uh -oh. they will turn into demons demons who live for revenge you see just listen to them we're showing it again <laughs> Oh, now it's kill. Yeah, they appear, they appear to be okay with child murder. Why is this happening? It's because they've been waiting for you to destroy that controller for so long. What? Those people out there don't care whether or not the heads of the children are going to explode. Rather, they sound pretty excited about it, don't you think? That's the sound of people who have completely transformed into demons. And this is all your fault, Big Sis. Me? That's why she needed Kamara to make it here. It's because you stirred up the adults. It's your hope that turned them into demons, you know? So that makes it all, all, all your fault, Miss Kamara Nayagi. Uh -huh. What are you talking about? It's not Kamaru's fault, it's yours! 
Wait! Listen to what she's saying! If what she said is true, then she should have wanted to destroy the controller right away! She could have just destroyed the damn thing herself! Then she would have her war! No, that wouldn't do! That would not be worthy of the successor now, would it? Nope. She, she can stand? <laughs> oh yeah, she hadn't seen her. She stood. Monica stood up? That's not important right now. <laughs> We're past that. Not just the city, but the whole world. How could this happen? That's from like an hour ago. <laughs> oh god. Anyways, what are you gonna do, hmm? How are you gonna end this? Just use it and turn everything off! Are you gonna kill the children and play the savior? Or are you gonna spare the children's lives and let them keep slaughtering the adults? Who lives? Who dies? That is your choice. There's no way to save both. One side has to die. This isn't like the Corians and the Geth. And you're going to kill them. Oh! <laughs> Now, it's about time you made your final choice. Oh? The final choice you can make as Komaru Naegi. Choose wisely! So this is number seven, I think. All right, before I do this, I'm gonna take a bathroom break. Ha <laughs> ha, suspense! I mean, y'all know what I'm gonna do. Anyways, be right back. All right, I'm back. It's time to finish this game. No. No, it's impossible. I... I can't break it. No, you're gonna break it, all right. Monica knows. Huh? You're gonna destroy the controller, and then the children's heads are gonna explode. Wee! And that's when the war begins. And the successor, a new splendid symbol of despair, will be born! Y you don't know that! And, like, there's no way I'd ever accept you as a successor in the first place! There's no way you can be a vessel of Big Sis Junko! Kotoko, when did I ever say that oh. I wanted to be the successor? She wanted Komaru to turn into Junko! I was right the first time! Huh? Monica's not the one who's going to be the successor.
It's gonna be Miss Komaru Naegi. I was right the first time! I was right! She wanted to turn Komaru into the new Junko! That's amazing! <laughs> Paint the world with despair. That's what Big Sis Junko always used to say, you know? And what could be more despair inducing than having Makoto Naegi's sister be the successor? So She's right. The one who's gonna murder all these kids has to be Miss Komaru herself. What, what are you saying? Oh, don't worry. It's not hard. All you have to do is destroy the controller. I've already prepared cameras so that the moment is recorded and sent to Future Foundation. Oh man, I kind of want to see what that would look like. With Monica's video message as a bonus set! Monica already declared that Miss Komaru Naegi will succeed the legacy of Big Sis Junko! What do you mean? Why would I... Like I said, don't listen to her! She's just trying to keep you from destroying it! <laughs> Big brother, you've just been saying that over and over. Adults don't like change. You shitty little brat! Whoa. Enough! Give me the controller. I'll destroy it myself. <laughs> I'll become Junko! But if we do that, the children will die! What else are we supposed to do? We have to end this massacre. What about all the adults who died? Are we just going to forget about them? Don't go dragging us into your revenge! Kamaru has nothing to do with this! That's right! There's no reason to kill them! You don't have to be a part of this one bit! No need, no reason, no relation. That's the difference between Big Brother and Miss Komaru. This isn't personal for her. Not yet, question mark? But I knew that might be a problem, so Monica made sure to make a special request. The intruder is Makoto! He's coming here! To get Miss Komaru to want revenge? Or? I needed help from her parents. Oh, shit. <sighs> now come on over here. Let's open the gates of hell with Monica. Oh, no! You too, mom and dad. Oh, that wasn't her mom and dad. That makes sense in retrospect. It was the Naegi parents. The climax is going to start soon. Your child will be born again as the successor to Junko and Oshima. Oh, that all makes sense now. Because it was Komaru. <laughs> I fell for it. What, what do you mean? Revenge. Now, are they dead already or are they just are fucked up? Take a potty break? Get a list of insults ready for Monica? I did take a potty break, thank you. Have you mentally prepared yourself to surrender to despair? Unable to suppress the urge to kill? Oh, this is gonna be good. Then I'll show you! <laughs> I don't like how excited you are! Oh. Uh-oh. Oh, this is gonna be bad. Oh, 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 no. Oh, they went the way of the Sayori. With their kids' names written in blood. <laughs> Just leave. What? More bodies again? Oh. You don't have to show them, you know. I'm already well aware how terrible you are. Toko, you're so fucking dense. After all this, you're still showing off killing adults? How crazy are you? Uh-oh, she's broke. Kamaru? Welp. Oh yeah, there's swastikas in her eyes too. <laughs> she probably wrote the message on the floor with her dying breath. But 
But when she collapsed, the blood stuck. That's how those letters ended up on her skirt. Kumaru? Hakodo! <laughs> Did you notice? She wrote the names of her children before she died. You have such loving parents. I'm jealous. Had. <laughs> Had such loving parents. I'm sorry. Family love. It sounds so nice. Something I've never felt my whole life. Mm -hmm. Oh, Makoto's gonna be angry. Lies. It's just a lie. Those bodies. No, it couldn't be. There's no way. Normally, a dying message is something like writing the killer's name. You know, like Sayaka did. <laughs> oh, that's not a very convincing argument at all. You can't refute me like that. That's not a good truth bullet. You hate me, don't you? You hate me, right? I played with the bodies of your family like toys. And now you want to kill me, right? No, wait! That's a lie! Well, I'm not so sure about that. You said your parents are missing, right? Hey, what are you... Haiji, shut your fucking face! Showing it to you right now, like this? That means it's gotta be true, without a doubt. Haiji, shut your fucking unhelpful ass mouth! Now, are you gonna just forget the fact that this bitch murdered your own parents? Shame on you. Haiji, you're not helping! That's not fair! You said she was bluffing a minute ago! You can't think of them as children. They're not anymore. They're the ones who are demons. Said the man with the despair eyes. It is in fact you who is the demon! Destroy that controller and finish it! Kill them all! Wow. Not just for your sake, or your parents' sake, but for everyone who was murdered! Hold on. We can't just do something like that. It, it's fine. Oh? Kamaru? If you want me to destroy it that much, uh oh, I'll do it. Uh oh, uh oh. I said, hold on, calm down, and think carefully. Come, shut up. Oh no. <laughs> Who cares anymore? No matter what happens to adults, no matter what happens to children, no matter what happens to this town, no matter what happens to the world. Uh oh. I don't give a damn anymore. I. Don't give a damn! Oh! Kamaru? No. Uh -oh. Don't go. I'm sorry. I. <laughs> it's impossible. I. I can't become like Makoto. <laughs> this is all determined from the very start. The hope you felt was just for the sake of making you feel the worst kind of despair. I knew from the beginning that you would fall into despair. Oh, we do get one more. Or not. Or, yes, okay. Oh! Oh, they both say break the controller! Oh, they both say break the controller! Lexi, what do I do? Does it matter which one I pick? Oh. Yo, this is cool! Togo Stopper! The power of gay! Ooh.
Stop shouting nonsense. Just hand that over! No! I won't give it to you! I need to protect this controller! I need to for Kamora's sake! What are you talking about? She was going to destroy it! That's not how she really feels. I'm sure she's actually thinking that... that she doesn't want to do it. Huh. How the hell could you possibly know that? I, I don't know how, I just know! Huh? I've been told you weren't the type to interfere. That's why I chose you to take on the role of escort. Wow. But it appears that the information Mr. Servant provided was false. Oh god. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. So, how about this? That's right. Oh! It's the key to the room where Mr. Byakuya Togami is locked inside. Oh, you bitch. Hey, you want to trade this key for that controller? If you do, you can go home with Mr. Byakuya Togami. You're telling me to choose between Kamaru and Master? Oh shit, that's dirty. It's your turn to make a choice. That's some dirty pool. Fine then. Uh. Hand over Master's key. I knew you'd do it. Uh huh. Why don't you just hand me that controller? No, not gonna happen. Huh? Because. I'm taking Kamaro home with me as well. What are you saying? You gotta make a choice. That's the rules. Fuck you. Who cares about your damn rules? You want me to make a choice? There's no way I could ever make that choice. I wouldn't choose one and leave the other behind. Both are. Both are important to me. So. So. I'll definitely protect both. <laughs> Emotional development. That's just unreasonable. Enough already. Just hand over that controller. I'll crush it. Switch to genocider. I'll never. I'll never hand it over. Do you want me to hurt you even more? Hurt? That means nothing to me. I'm sure you don't understand, since you have plenty of disposable friends. But I finally made a friend in Komaru, and I'm not going to hurt my friend. So I'll never hand it over. Shut up. In order to keep the kids under control and end this nightmare, this is the only way! No! Use your fire powers! Control? Let go! I won't let go! Hey, what are you guys doing? <laughs> oh. What? Uh, intruder? Huh? Or <laughs> big robot! Hey guys, what you doing? Why is, it, why is it moving? Monica has no idea. The only ones who can control Big Bang Monokuma are you and Mama. You are the ones who programmed it that way. Oh, the ghost? <laughs> Holy shit! She's dead, probably. Ah. Uh. Oh. That hurts. <laughs> what? You, you hit me! Junko is now Ultron. I mean, she did turn herself into an AI. Hurts. But that's not the only thing that hurts. This is the first time I've ever slapped someone in the face. See what you've made me do? <laughs> now come on. Hit me back. Oh. Why? Isn't it obvious? It, it makes us even. I've never had a friend. So I... I don't know what to do in situations like this. So just for now... If you hit me, we're square, right? <laughs> Just... So, hit me. Hit me. Fine. Oh. 
Oh. That was pretty strong. Jeez. That was loud. She just drops the controller and breaks it. Fuck! You're right. You're right. <laughs> My hand hurts. That's not the only thing that hurts. My hand heart my heart hand hurts too. Yeah. Oh. We're the same. If you can't do something on your own, all I have to do is help you. If I can't do something on my own, all you have to do is help me. Helping each other. That's the advantage of working together, right? Yeah. And just so you know, I won't comfort you or pity you. I'm not good at that stuff. <laughs> Even though you were just doing that. And we still don't know if... if those were really your parents. We can't be distracted by the stuff that doesn't make sense. Focus on what's happening now. What do you want to do right now? Have you decided? Yeah. I have. I want to protect both. Third ending! I'm not going to play her sick little game. I'm going to save the adults and the children. <laughs> Greedy girl. Can't say I don't approve. Oh, God. Oh, do I have to fight this thing? Oh, no. We're team posing. Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, no. Looks like it's targeting us. Or maybe it's aiming for the controller. What should we do? It's a very epic boss fight. Okay. I'll fight. I've decided. I'll fight to protect everyone. Toko, will you help me? Fuck no! Just kidding. Isn't it obvious? It's normal for friends to help each other. <laughs> Whether it's comforting each other from loss or fighting a gigantic teddy robot. Oh, God. Kamaru. Let's show them. You and I, the power of the ultra dangerous Shit. sisters. Huh? Close. What's that? Well, you told me to think about it, so I did. What? Not satisfied? Not good enough for. Okay, I died. What are you doing to Kamaru? Oh, the final, the final fucking, uh, debate song. They're tracking you. No use running. You have to repel them. Ah. Oh, the eye indicates what I have to hit him with. Oh, God. Oh, oh. Holy fuck. Okay. Tomorrow, leave it to me. Oh, sick. Oh, here we go. Spirit bomb, baby. Okay. I 
don't I haven't figured out what I do for that part. Oh god. Anymore. I won't abandon anyone. I won't give in. I won't fall into despair. This town is doomed. I'll fall into despair. No, that's wrong. No, that's wrong. Damn, Kamaru. You go, girl. I still don't know what I do for this one. Oh, fuck. On oh, the scepter slam, turn to Jack. Okay. Fucking got him! Whoa! Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh! Ah! Hi! Shirakuma! Whip it to buy! You gotta be kidding! What the hell did you do? Huh? Wow. You kidding me? No. Big Bang Monokuma is our hope. That's. Oh shit, now her legs are actually broke. 
And now it's over. Uh, it's not over yet. Nothing's finished yet. This is just... It's just delaying the inevitable. The children are still brainwashed. The adults still want revenge. In fact, they're even more angry now, having their hope killed like that. So nothing's changed! This isn't a happy ending or a sad one. This isn't hope or despair! Nothing has changed. So are you gonna kill Monica? Take a little revenge for yourself? It's just fine. If Monica is killed by Makoto Maegi's sister, that should be enough to spare. Give me the key to Byakuya's room. Or I will snap you silly, missy. Huh? Hand it over. Oh, shit. <laughs> Just kick her. At this point, I suppose I have to compromise. With no more hostage, future Foundation will come, and the remnants of despair will follow. Maybe it's not going exactly to plan, but maybe a small-scale war will start. Little baby war! I'll compromise. Monica has to be an adult sometimes, after all. But this really has nothing to do with you two, does it? This town, this planet, they don't matter to you two. You just want your happy ending. You're not even letting me have a small taste of despair! But I want some! <laughs> Yak all you want. Let's go, Kamaru. Monica miscalculated. I overestimated you. Well, I guess Monica was not the only one. You thought too highly of yourself as well. Monica tried to imitate Big Sis Junko. You tried to imitate your brother. But in the end, we both failed. Neither of us could live up to expectations. There's no way I could imitate him. And no way I'd want to. I am not my brother. Makoto is Makoto. And I am me. Get fucked. Don't mess with me. Oh. An ending without hope or despair? Monica will definitely... Huh? Bye-bye. Here you beg for your life just because your plan didn't work. Huh? You must have noticed by now, I was acting this whole time. But even now, I love you lots. Even though you betrayed me, my feelings haven't changed. Oh. So, it'd be great if you could die in a totally adorbs death. <laughs> bye bye forever. Get pranked, bye. Uh-oh. Big brother! Don't you want to take your revenge on Monica? Don't you want to kill Monica? You weren't satisfied with this, right? You weren't just gonna walk away. I don't want it to end like this either! Big Sis Junko would hate me if I let it end like this! What? Was that? Despair. I don't care anymore. Well, he's broken. This is what despair feels like. <laughs> In the end, it is her who despairs. <laughs> Still kind of fucked up. Rumble. There's really no point worrying about it now. More importantly, 
We need to save Master and get out of here right away. Hmm? Nani? What happened? I... I know I can save both the adults and the children. Well, we can chat about it after we get out of this damn town, once and for all. Toko... I... Give her the key. I'm staying in this town. Huh? Oh. <laughs> All right. Cheese. Right until the end, you prove yourself a worthless piece of trash. Cool. A student like you requires after-school lessons. Oh. I'll train you thoroughly later. Oh no, I don't like that. To be continued right now. This horror will grow mild. Epilogue. The changing world we made. That's cute. What? Uh, oh, you're awake? You were lucky. Nagito saved her! I would have perished if I wasn't there to save you. Why? I changed my mind and decided to stay in this town a while longer. Holy fuck! I'm here, I figured I should see this through to the very end. That's not what I meant. Oh, you mean why I saved you? Because... I'm the same as you. Despaired. I'm disappointed. With endings that waver between despair and hope. Okay. I wish a real war had started. If it did, I know a brilliant hope would have been born. Mm. That is why I allowed myself to be captured after all. So you did it on purpose? But you aren't finished yet, right? Nothing has really changed since you began. So, I need you to continue working hard, so that a splendid hope may be born. You have tasted the bitter despair of having your meticulous plan fall apart around you, so I know you can do it. Really? Which side are you on? Does it even matter? Anyway, why don't you be the successor for now? If that is your intention, I will lend you a hand. If my schedule allows it, of course. <laughs> there is somewhere I need to be later. Yep. What do you mean? I shall raise you to be her copy. One even more realistic than the real one. Someone like me. Oh, God. Who hates and loves her more than anyone else. I should be able to make you more like her than even she herself was. That makes no sense, but okay! Gross. Yeah, that. <laughs> oh. With that success or whatever. You're talking too loud. Oh! They can hear all they fucking want. A bunch of chumps teaming up together makes them suck even more. Well, when you think about it, the plan was flawed from the beginning. Trying to create a successor while the original still exists? What? I know this was kind of my idea, but kids sure are stupid idiots. Not just the kids. The adults are idiots, too. Just by causing a little unrest, just pushing them a teeny bit, I had them spinning around in the palms of my hands. Oh! 
Waiting to hear from you. I'm, yeah. I'm glad you're safe, Byakuya. Well, safe enough, I suppose. <laughs> Are you outside Toa City? You must be if this connection is secure, right? Yeah. I used the secret passageway under the shrine. Somehow I fit into those tiny opening into that tiny opening. The captives are safe, thanks to the relative of that idiot we know so well. Yep. I'll introduce you to her later. She's much more talented and useful than he is. It's Hiroko, even though I didn't find all of them. What's your position? I'll send rescue right away. Before you do, there's something you need to know. Huh? Komaru Naegi and Toko Fukawa are not with me. Oh? Not with you? Why? I'll let her explain. Her? She asked that I send you this message. It might be garbled a bit, but it'll do. All right. Um, can you see me, Makoto? You're surprised that I'm not leaving, right? Sorry for making you worry. There's a lot I want to say. But first, let me explain why I'm not there. I was going to say, why didn't we get to see them free him? Is all fuck. Oh, great. <sighs> Why? Why are you bringing up something like that? Do you feel responsible for their revenge? But that wasn't your fault. You can't feel bad about that, not even a little. No, that's not it. It doesn't matter whose fault it is. This is my decision. Then why are you doing this? Didn't you want to get out of this place and live a normal, peaceful life? But now you want to stay here? That's like the complete opposite. Very good. You're right. You... It's not because you feel despair. No, of course not. I don't want to get slapped again. Then why? Even I'm not... Totally sure. But earlier, when I said how I want to save both, all the scary feelings and hesitation I've felt were gone. The hope! Even though the odds were against us, 
For some reason, I felt courage. I think it's because I was confident that that was what I needed to do. But what would happen if I leave this town with you and Biakia? What would happen if Future Foundation came here to suppress the riot and uncover the secret? And then what would happen if the Remnants of Hope were to find this place? Remnants of Hope? Does she mean the Remnants of Despair? It would turn into a war. Just like Monica said. S so you're saying you're going to be this town's hostage in place of Master? Until now, I kept relying on you. And I never really got to make decisions on my own. But I was like that even before I met you. I used to give up all the time. But the decision to save everyone was one I made on my own. Of course, I'm scared. I'm worried. But despite that, I've made up my mind. I won't give up until the very end. I'll make sure I protect both. Idiot. You're awfully optimistic after all this. <sighs> Seriously, what are you thinking? You're just like your brother sometimes. Just Biaki chimes in. Is someone gonna let me out? No. I think I got it from you. Hmm? Me? You were with me all this time. If I have changed, it's your influence, Toko. No. Oh. For now, I'm going to be fine. This is much better than imprisoned life, regardless. So don't worry about me. Go back with Byakuya. Go back, Ria. You two are the only ones who can persuade Future Foundation not to interfere here. This is all your fault. S so please, don't be mad. What? Of course I'm mad. Jeez. Why do I have to stay behind in a town like this? I... Oh, no, you misunderstood. I meant I'm the one who's gonna stay here. Well, obviously I'm gonna stay too, cause I'm your friend. If you're going to stay, there's no way I can leave. I decided to be with you too, remember? <gasps> the power of the gay. Toko. Do you really think some brother complex girl like you can be master's substitute? In a hostage trade, you and I are barely enough for one, Master Byakuya. So, I'll stay with you. That's the decision I made. No complaining. But you said you wanted to go home with Byakuya. Hm. I don't need your concern. Master and I are rock solid. Even if we're apart, our feelings towards each other will never change. <laughs> yes, that's correct. I still fucking hate you. Huh? It's true what you said. Even if we're apart, my feelings of disgust toward you will never change. That's what I thought. Master? So the reason I've decided to stay isn't because someone forced me to. It's a choice I made myself. But I know that I can't just expect things to change right away just because I'm staying. I know that I can't become real hope like you so i'm going to wait i will become diet hope i'm going to wait for the day you guys defeat the remnants of despair and come home safe ah uh, but you don't have to rush or anything okay <laughs> no pressure i'm just making myself a hostage i'll wait until the day you come to pick me up cool so that'll be an episode of the anime i have the gun mr biakia gave me and I have my reliable friend Toko. And about mom and dad. Oh. I didn't find anything. Oh! Oh. That's kind of sad. I went to the torture room later, but it was empty. The film that girl forced me to watch must have been recorded earlier. Or fake. Yeah, I don't know about that. That means there's a chance they're alive and well somewhere. 
right? I mean, it's true we didn't see their faces, so there's a chance they were fake, but I'm this, this is a series where a lot of well-developed characters die, so that's not likely. Maybe even somewhere in this city. That's what I choose to believe. Okay, sorry, this video is getting pretty long. I guess I should wrap it up. You're eating up all my storage. In the wiki, they are labeled as missing unknown. So there's no update on that in the anime? Next time you see me, I might be so grown up you don't even recognize me. Just like how surprised I was when I saw you. See you later, Makoto. So that's the situation. I thought all your sister was good for was cowering in fear. But there you have it. And now, between recording the video and playing it back, my phone is dead. Thank you. Seriously? Well, she surprised me before. Hey, Makoto. You know what we have to do, right? The Hope Restoration Program? We have to stop this idiotic war and return here to retrieve them. We wouldn't want to betray their expectations. Yeah, you're right. I've made up my mind, Byakuya. If a situation like this ever happens again, no matter how dangerous the trap, I'm jumping right in so I can end it properly with my own two hands. Hearing you say that reminds me of what you said back at the Academy. Huh? Hope keeps going, huh? Fine. I'll partner with you for just a little while. Mm -hmm. We have to nuke the city. At least until I've repaid the debt I owe to Toko and your sister. Yeah. The credits. That's credits. It's done. Ultra Despair Girls. This was far and away and on like not even in the same ballpark as anything else. The most disturbing and upsetting game I have ever fucking played in my life. And I'm absolutely here for it. <laughs> oh my god, this game. I'm more than happy to fill in some blanks in the storyline and that's why I played it. But Jesus, did this game put me through the fucking ringer. All right, so... Yeah, this was interesting. And, and I guess it turns out that the other warriors of hope really were dead. Un unless they show up in the anime, I don't know. But, I mean, don't say anything, I'll watch it all. Unless they are dead and we just never see them again. I don't know. I don't know. All right, so, going forward. What I'm going to try doing is I'm going to record my reaction to the first episode of the Danganronpa 3 anime. And yes, I know that there's two different arcs and you have to watch them back and forth and back and forth. So I'm going to have that watching guide. Um, so I'm going to try recording my reaction to the first episode and put that up. And if it doesn't get immediately fucking copyright zapped, I will attempt to make a series out of reacting to the Danganronpa 3 anime. That's a lot of work, though. Um, yeah. Let's play with Monokuma. That's your ringtone sound. <laughs> oh, man. You were right, though. That last boss battle was pretty epic. But, man, Shirakuma was playing us. That was kind of weird to find out. I think it, I think there was one point where I had a thought that like I thought that Shirakuma's voice sounded like Junko's, but I never really processed it far long enough. Just 
just message you with each episode? Yeah. Chances of me getting zapped for reaction footage is pretty high, so maybe, uh... Future arc is gory? Oh, great. Well, I'll, I'll stomach it. I'm, I'm, I got into this franchise. I'm gonna see it through to the end. Oh, God. That's Jotaro. Oh, I don't think I've seen these pictures. Monica with pigtails? Or maybe that was just a flashback of them working on the robots. I don't know. Anyway. Yeah. Also, they never said the, the name. They never said Ultra Despair Girls. Uh, the kids are all alive. Are they? Oh, post credits. All right, then. So the kids are alive? Hey, you are ready yet? D don't shout so early in the morning. You're not really a morning person, are you? Are you secretly staying up late without me? That would make sense. I can see your jimmy legs and snoring. I can't get a good night's sleep. <laughs> jimmy legs. I am so not snoring. But it's true I might toss and turn while I'm asleep. Oh, they are all alive. Interesting. And it wasn't just snoring. You were talking in your sleep, saying, Makoto! <laughs> lies! Definitely lies! And if you want to get a good night's sleep, why don't you go sleep in your own bed? Because of the gay! We're in a hotel. There's plenty of other rooms. Don't be an idiot. What happens if a ghost shows up? <laughs> the ghost of Tokuichi will haunt you again! Oh, so you're into occult stuff now. Well, you really did get possessed, right? So ghosts do exist, right? I mean, that's true. <laughs> well, I guess that's just one more thing you're afraid of now. It's all your fault! Come on, let's go. If we don't keep a watchful eye, these people are gonna start fighting again. No time to slack off. What? But you're the one who woke up late. Shut up. Oh. Hey! I told you to wait. Ah, oh, come on, Toki. <laughs> the nickname. Usami! I saw her! An end that repudiated optimism and pessimism alike. You can now read the spin off novel Ultra Despair Hagakure. I guess that's about Hiroko. The bonus mode, view CGs and listen to begins. Cool. Fuck yeah, save data. Movie, CGs, BGMs. Oh my god, a Monokuma iPod. Game record. There it is, 20 and a half hours. Wow. I got C's and then D's. Oh, the novels about Yasuhiro and Ken and Leon's captive. Okay. I need to like make a point. I need to gather up all the novels and side content. I'll read them all later. Story of another man who's feeling despair. All right, so I guess that's it. So yeah, like I said, uh, I will be going on and watching the Danganronpa 3 anime. So I guess it's, it probably is too much to do a reaction series. I'll just, I'll just message you. If there's anyone out there watching who would like to know my reactions to episodes, maybe I'll tweet about them. 
but I don't know. That's kind of big spoilers, or I assume it's going to be. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm I'm having a good time with this franchise, and I'm glad to be through this chapter of it. I don't know how much more I can say to just elongate the fucking length of the stream because we're an hour under under time. So I guess Wednesday of next week I'll be back with more Metopia, and then the Sunday after that I will be starting something new. I'm thinking I might start Everhood. Uh, it's a game that I recently saw that kind of looks like Undertale. It's clearly inspired by it, but it seems to have its own spin on it. It's kind of like a rhythm-based game. It's like half bullet hell and half rhythm game. I saw it and had to buy it. It looks awesome. So it'll most likely be that next weekend or maybe something else. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Uh, but yeah, that's okay. It just means I'm awesome at it. No, I'm kidding. Uh, but yeah, that last boss battle was pretty epic. And yeah, I think they made us choose not to break the controller seven times if I counted right. Interesting. All right, so I guess I'll just sign off for the night. Thank you, Lexi, for being on this journey with me again. You've, you've been with me the entire way through Danganronpa 2 and this game. And uh, thanks to Raven for popping in. And uh, thanks to anyone else who popped by or is watching this on YouTube. Uh, I have playlists of my entire run through this game and of Danganronpa 2. And of course, after I finish the Danganronpa 3 anime, I will be back to play Danganronpa V3. I'm looking forward to that, because I've seen some some bits of it from the trailer for the Decadence pack, uh, which I've also pre-ordered, the the, uh, the deluxe collection, collector's edition of. So depending on how soon I finish the Danganronpa 3 anime, uh, I mean, I don't think it's going to take me until November <laughs> to get through the whole thing. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll play Danganronpa V3. And of course, when the uh, when the Decadence Collection comes out, we'll also play Danganronpa S on stream. V3 is going to take you quite a while. Is it longer than two? Man. All right. I'm excited. That's going to be our new Sunday game after I finish the anime. So I hope you'll come along with me during that game as well. Uh, but until then, we're going to sign off. But before I do that, we need to find somebody to raid. So let's see who is around right now. And also, thank you to my internet connection for not fucking dying tonight. Let's see who's around. I see that Chad is playing Destiny 2. I'll send you over to him. Just so we can be a good little member of the stream on team on. Alright, typing it in for you. Alright. Thanks again everybody, and we'll see you on Wednesday.